Hey everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 2. So before we start, I do want to head over to Pleasant View and just to show off what I've been doing there and the other Sims from Base Game and University, how they're all getting on. Okay, so as you can see, Pleasant View's changed quite a lot. Uh, where the trailer park used to be, I have built these houses, or which come in the, fam uh, the house bin with nightlife and they all have driveways and stuff so I have this is where Dustin lives now we'll get we'll get onto that basically uh he used to live over here this is where Lilith and Dirk now live he lived over here with Angela and the oldies and Mary Sue obviously Mary Sue died we know that um and Herb and Coral oldie they both passed away from old age and Angela she ended up dying from, she like was cooking and started a fire and she burnt to death. So their child, so Dustin and Angela's son, Henry, like all of the teens, they're off at university. Uh, so Henry is off over there at university. Uh, this is where the Brokes live, Brandy, Skip, and this is the newest member of the Broke family. This is. Sam. They used to live over here, but I'm saying it was just temporary because they ripped down the trailer park and they gave all of the residents of the trailer park new homes. With her Harris's, Chloe and Remington, they're fine. They're married now. Chloe's now a popularity sim, by the way. I do like to change my romance sims into popularity sims as they age as I play because, yeah, romance sims are fun, but they do get boring. Today, I did resurrect Marlena, um, so she's back with Courtney. Uh, Brandon and Kevin, they're together, they're married. Uh, the Stuart, so this is where Xena lives. She moved in with Sarah and Simon. Obviously, Noelle has got Stuart. This is where Scott and Tashan now live. I moved them out from here into here. Uh, Bree is off at uni now. The Goths, they, the Goth family is growing. So Bella is still there. Cassandra, still single. Uh, Alexander and Kylie got married and they have three kids. They have Luther, Sebastian and Sabrina. Uh, so this is where Astro and Jane are, they're married. And they have two kids. They have Amy and Lily. This is where Orlando and Lucan, they've just adopted another kid, so they haven't shown up yet. I think that's everyone. Okay, but anyway, let's head back to Strange Town. Oh, and also these are the pictures that show up when you uh, when you click here, and it's normally like the videos, but I preferred having them as just the static pictures because I prefer them. Uh, but let's go back to downtown, so we can go ahead and play with our household. Let's go back into the singles family. Or well, household, I don't know why it says family. It's just, they're a household. There are only two sims here that are related. <laughs> so I've played a little bit off camera with, oh, hello lag. How are you doing? So I played a bit off camera and they have a bit more money now. So in the next part, I think I might start renovating the house a bit just to you know, buy new objects and stuff, because there are so many cool objects that come with nightlife that I want to add. So anyway, today I want to play with Chloe a bit because we haven't really done that. We spent the first part with Kristen and last part with Erin. So today I'm going to spend some time with Chloe. So I don't think she has work today. Oh no, she does. Oh, but she gets back at one. So... Oh wait, she gets back at one in the morning. Can she call work, take a day off? Oh, you know what, we're gonna call in sick. We'll call in sick. Oh, we can't do that. Lovely. Maybe she just won't go to work today. Oh, that's Kristen's. Kristen, go, go to work. Uh, they have been getting uh, some promotions though. Uh, I don't have to worry about any of their skills though, so that's fine. So there goes Kristen in her new uniform. Okay, Chloe, let's go call 
service. So this is how we can get the gypsy matchmaker to show up on our lot. Uh, she's just under service. So we have matchmaking service down here. Pull that. Then the matchmaker will... I can sense you are looking for someone to spend the rest of your days with. Do you require my matchmaking service? I will be over shortly. Your future is rapidly approaching. Thank you, Kaylin. Oh, it's another Kaylin. Hooray. Uh, let's go recycle that. She is over here, so let's go greet her. And we will go have a blind date. Ask for a blind date. So we'll do this right away. I'm sure Lola will let uh, Chloe use her car to go downtown. Excuse me, matchmaker, can we please get a blind date? So her turn-ons are fitness, formal, and her turn-off is gray hair. So I'm going to say we're going to go. Oh, only your cash can help my crystal ball pierce the mists of fate that veil the inner nature of your perfect match. If you let the stinginess cloud of my vision, you'll only have yourself to blame. Now, then, how much will you spend? Um, so we can go up to. Let's go. Around 1000. That should be OK. Doing that is our, like, everything. So let's go around 1,000. Hmm. Uh, well, when it comes to a good match, I've seen better and I've had worse. Maybe you'll have a chance. So he's not going to be a perfect match. Oh, hello. Oh, oh my God. Okay. Uh, so we would we just matched with Scrap. Okay. So we're now on a date with <laughs> Buzz. So we're gonna go drive to a community lot. We're not gonna stay here. Chloe and Buzz. I'm gonna go we're gonna go downtown. And we are gonna go to the park. We're gonna go to the park. Oh, I didn't read the description. Oh, okay, never mind. I'll read it some other time. Uh, can you, like, make sure to... Can, can you get out of the way? <laughs> we don't want to run you over. Thank you. Um, so we're now on a date with Buzz. Okay, so here we are at the park. Oh, there's Ophelia. Um, so, oh, there's a coffee stand over here. So let's go here. Um, so I don't exactly want her to be with Buzz, but he wants to flirt. Oh, he wants to slow dance with Chloe. I completely forgot slow dancing came with nightlife. We'll have to show that off later. But he wants to talk to Chloe. Oh, she's going to the toilet first. That's fine. She really needs to pee. Um, I don't mind, I don't know, I don't mind if this date is completely horrible, because it will be one way to show it off, and then there's Crystal Vu as well. Uh, it will be one way to show off having a horrible date. <laughs> so I won't mind it. Oh, and she has the hots for Buzz, that's just kind of rude. Oh, and there's Ladlo. Um, he's also like their half-brother or something. Oh, excuse me. Well, let's go talk to Laszlo then, because she's just kind of chat with Laszlo. Oh, who's this? Oh, Jenny Smith is here as well. Are they also related? Yeah. Yeah, she's related to Jenny. So, I thought that was Mrs. Crumplebottom. <laughs> I'm actually kind of sad that it wasn't. Okay, stop talking to Buzz. Go, go chat with your brother. <sighs> okay. Let's ask him. 
do you like what you see? Oh, what's your what's your turn on? Because I don't actually know what his is. <laughs> oh my god, stop! Oh, there's Stella. But her own kind. Oh, he likes cologne. Uh, ask what turns you off. Fitness. Uh, appreciate. Oh, time's running out. Admire him. Uh, he wants a. Okay. La charm. Ask. Uh, do you like what you see? This date isn't going well. <laughs> At all. I mean, he li he, he he likes us. Uh, appreciate. Okay, dance. Appreciate a my okay, okay date. You want to influence him to play prank? Oh, hum, that was kind of boring. I had hoped you would be a little more fun. Is he gonna leave? If he leaves, okay. You know what? He was definitely not worth it. Let's go to another lot and try and find someone else for Chloe to date. Um. Oh wait, hold on. Let me read the. Where is? Go here, Sunshine Park, isn't it? What the hell is it? Oh, you know, it's because we're already on the lot. Okay. Uh, let's go to... Let's go to Rodney's Hangout. So, having trouble finding a date? Bring yourself down to Rodney's Hangout. Pull up a chair and relax. Who... Who knows? Maybe you'll... Okay. Let's go to Rodney's Hangout. Uh, so, having trouble finding a date? Bring yourself down to Rodney's Hangout. Pull up a chair and relax. Who knows? Maybe you'll find a new friend or even that new love that you've been looking for. Let's go here. So, that date was not good with Buzz. <laughs> uh, so, she... There isn't a memory for just having, like, an okay date. There is a memory for having a terrible date, though. Which is fun, and that, like, really impacts your relationship negatively as well and it makes it harder to talk to that person okay so here we are and there are a bunch of sims here so hopefully we could get to know at least one of them we could send him over and she goes right to the bar okay oh the oldies radio station as well oh hi leslo oh samuel okay go here and scope the room instead of doing that go scope the room and see who she finds attractive. Oh! You know what? Okay. Go flirt with him. Samuel is hot. But he's not interested. God damn it. Okay. Chat. Just chat for him. Just say, hey. How you going? Because she does want to go out on a date with someone. She wants to ask us him on a date. Appreciate and admire him. Ask. What do you want? Okay. And he's the only sim she found attractive. That's fine. And also, he's one of the dateable slobs. So... Oh no. They're not getting along. And she wants to buy a love potion. Which we can have her do, I just don't know where... If the... If we can get the matchmaker. Okay. Uh, tell him a joke. No, tell him a joke. Oh, where is he? oh, we're minus two. Lovely. Oh, and her. Oh, okay. Her thing with Erin's almost gone, which is good. Uh, and tell him another joke. Walk, chat, come on. This pianist is great. And she does want to play poker. So. We could. We go join. Go play, go play, go play. Go play before someone else takes your spot. Go join. There we go. She wanted to play. I just have to hope that Samuel doesn't leave. Because she likes him. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, wait, we could go play pool with him. You know what? Let's go play pool. She wants to juggle. We're not going to do that. And she wants to ask us him on outing. But we haven't gone on an outing yet. So maybe we could go on an outing with Sam. Uh, hug. Ask. Perform casual group. We could go. Oh, there we go. So we're, we're on a, just a regular outing with Samuel. So this is what the outing UI looks like. It, it's the exact same as the dating one, except there's just a, a friend symbol here. So what's sort of want to do? Do you have to influence someone to play a prank? Influence to prank. Let's go do it on. Where is she? So let's go do it on Cersei because Cersei's a bitch and I hate Cersei. <laughs> I've always hated Cersei Beaker though. She's always been one of my least favorite sims. <laughs> oh my god. Let me get a picture of this. Oh, this that guy hey, his name's like Corbin or something. Corbin. Oh. Uh, Blur, go check him out. Okay. Go wolf whistle him. <clears throat> See how he responds to that. Oh no! <laughs> so, I just don't like Cersei. She deserves the worst. It's how I like- the same way I don't like Mary Sue as well. Like, I don't think I'll end up killing Cersei. Unless she kills Kaylin Langrak, which won't happen because she's not here. Okay, but he's into us though. Uh, ask. What turns you on? Oh, okay, so he likes fat people. What turns you off? He stink. What turns you on, other than that. Oh, and vampirism. Lovely, so we have nothing in common. If we can flirt with him a little bit. Okay, there we go. He's having a good time. Appreciate, admire. If we could maybe dance together. Oh, also we've missed our carpool technically, but when we go home it'll be fine. Um, so you know what we could do? We could actually head over to a club. Drive to another lot. Uh, Strange Town, or no, Downtown. So where's, okay, go here, Sunshine Park. Let me read this description first. This is where we went before. So looking for a place to go on a stroll with your potential loved one, then go here to the Go Here Sunshine Park where sunshine is just over the horizon. All right. So how about we go to, maybe not Lulu Lounge. Um. Midnight Flows. Is this the karaoke bar? I think that's the karaoke bar. I don't want to go there yet. Um, okay, let's go to the... <clears throat> so let's go there. And then maybe we can... I don't know, maybe... We'll call this their first unofficial date. Oh, is he not coming with us? Okay, he is good. <clears throat> oh, and there's the matchmaker. Damn it, I could have bought a love potion. Oh well. And Cersei's waving us goodbye. Uh, I just... Uh, I'm sorry to anyone who likes Cersei. I just... I just don't like her. She has never been nice. And I'm sorry to Cersei Beaker on Twitter if you're watching this. I don't mean you, you're great. But... <clears throat> the actual Cersei Beaker. I think probably my least favourite sim. Okay, so there is the DJ booth over here. Play hit hutches. So there is no one here apart from us. Just great. <laughs> so let's go over to let's go over to the dance floor and let's actually go. Oh! And this is Mr. Big. We haven't seen him yet. Edward McKellen. Uh, he is the male counterpart to I think her name's Nicole now. Possibly. 
Um, we might know her. Is that her, Felicia? No. I don't think we do know her then. Oh, we know Belikoth. Oh yeah, also, if any of anyone's confused, and they don't know this, uh, this Belagoth is different to the Belagoth that's in Pleasant View, because there's technically two in-game, and there's one in Strange Town, and the Pleasant View Bella is hidden within the game files, but because I use Meet Me to the River's clean templates, which are basically a fixed version of the base game neighbourhoods, so they aren't corruptible, or as easy to corrupt, <clears throat> Uh, Bella Goth is, is hidden as a townie. Uh, but this Bella is always in the game, you can... And that's the one that lives in the huge mansion, and we might be able to see it, actually. Hold on. <clears throat> uh, that, that house over there, that's where Bella lives. If we can get a different view of it. Okay, but that... This house over here... Is the house that Belagoth lives in Strange Town, but she's meant to be like a clone of Pleasant View Bella. Might be different. Oh, there she goes! Look at that. Oh, that was it. Oh, okay, never mind. The hard spin is the one that like most Sims tend to do automatically. Uh, don't go grill. Uh, where is he? Where is Sam gone? Don't go. Stop trying to. Do things of your own accord, please. Where is he? I genuinely cannot find him. Okay, let's go order a drink. Then, never mind. <laughs> like, where did he go? He's not in the bathroom. He's not in the hot tub. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's going to the toilet now. Okay. Hopefully this will kind of fill some of the hunger need. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, is he going to come sit down and join us? <laughs> or is he just getting back in the... Where is he going? Oh, he's going to do the dance there. Okay. Time is running out. Okay, let's go flat with him a bit more quick. Okay, good. That did fulfill some of her needs. Uh, R, okay, flat. Checks him out. Okay, she is. she has no wants relating to him. So I think we'll just end this. Or wait until it finishes, maybe. Flat. Char. Uh, ask the leave casual group. There we go. So we're going- oh, they just kissed. They just kissed. Wow. Uh, you know the best people. Let's all hang out more often. Okay, let's drive home. Um, take a shower. Take care of her needs a bit. Oh, she's actually fine. What about Lola? Oh, she's burning her grilled cheese. Yeah. Oh my god, why is the phone on the floor? You know what? She's, she makes grilled cheese a lot, so maybe I should try and give her the grilled cheese aspiration. Uh, can she unlock the career, the reward object? Oh no, she can't. I need to do a lot of, lot more of her. Actually, can anyone else? <gasps> oh, we can have it. Okay. Okay. In the next part, we're gonna play around with that, <laughs> which is the new aspiration reward object for The Sims Two for in Nightlife. Your oh, I never showed off the counterfeit machine, did I? That was from university. Anyway. I'm going to end it here. In the next part, we'll play around with that. Um, I think we'll go back to... I think we'll play with er uh, with Lola a bit in the next part. Just because, like, she hasn't gone out on a date yet. So, she's kind of been neglected a little bit in this series so far. But that's fine. Um, and yeah, we'll play around with that. Uh, but anyway, if you haven't already, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this part. And if you did... Make sure to go check out the other series I'm doing. I currently have a Sims 4 and a Stardew Valley series. And also in the next part, I think I should have uh, renovated their house a little bit when they have a bit more money. So yeah, but I'm going to go now. So I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, wherever you are. 
and I will see you in the next part. Bye, guys.